Good morning, friends. How are you guys? I'm going to go ahead and show this to my pages, and then I'm going to put my shoppy link right here in the comments. I'm going to pin it right there, and then we're just going to dive on and get started. Um, so we have a lot to do today, so I'm going to probably go a little bit faster than I normally do. So if you tune on late, you can always watch this on the replay, hashtag replay in the comments. Let me know, of course, where you're watching from. But what is that? <laughs> I'm on bright and early today. But at least you guys can watch this on the replay if you missed it. But I'm using my Liquid Touch foundation and I'm going to throw this all on for some really incredible all day lasting coverage. Don't have to worry about touching it up. No, it hides everything. It's so lightweight on the skin. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing any like makeup at all. It's incredible. I'm wearing the shade Lace and I'm using the powder concealer brush to throw it on. And I just love how it just instantly reduces all redness, begins to hide all the blemishes, all the everything. It's so good. And then I'm gonna throw on my eyelid, just like so. But look at how just a little bit of coverage goes a really long way. I love that. This was about six drops of the Liquid Touch. I did spend a bit of time shaking it up and squeezing the topper, so a lot of it was really mixed up well. And then my pre-makeup routine, I really swear by. I think it really does make a really big difference on how full coverage your makeup looks. Um, so my little trick for my pre-makeup routine is I... Um, <laughs> my hair is so crazy. I always wash my face. I use my rose water, my refreshing rose water. And then I go in with my um, Touch Bold setting spray and I spray that all over my face. I'm going to add a little more coverage on these little blemishes. Um, and then I go in with my Glorious Face Primer. I apply that all over my face, my eyes, my lips, everywhere. And then I go in with my setting spray again. So again, setting spray, primer, setting spray. It's kind of my routine and I started doing that after being super frustrated that I felt like my skin felt even more oily with um, primer on and then it wasn't my foundation was sinking into my pores if I didn't use primer um, so I was just at a standstill where I was just frustrated so I just started trying different things and that was the routine that I really um, I saw a huge difference with so I stuck with it and I know a lot of you guys do it now too and it's amazing so if you are like me and you were frustrated or are frustrated with just something's not right with your makeup go ahead and give that setting spray primer setting spray trick a try and it's not like any setting spray I really swear by ours I really like ours because it's not very drying because that was the other thing too I was trying these different setting sprays and different products and there wasn't one that I liked that wouldn't dry me out or make me more oily it was like a really hard combination to find like a happy median um so I really love that our setting spray isn't oily and it's not drying at all either and then we do have the glorious face primer which is really good for combination skin or oily skin but we are coming out with a mattifying primer April 1st and then um we also have the hydrating face primer, which is really good if you have mature skin, um, dry skin, um, or you have like eczema, psoriasis that causes you to have a lot of dry patches. You can use the hydrating face primer in those areas as well. All right, so I always go over my makeup with my blending bud to really kind of fine tune the coverage and to make it look super duper smooth. I always tell you guys if you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles to make sure that you are using your blending buds because it really does make a large difference. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I'm just gonna go over it with my under eyes and this just really, really bumps up the coverage and makes it look super flawless, super full. Um, definitely hides anything you got going on on your under eyes. So if you struggle with dark circles or acne um, scars or acne spots or blemishes like me right now, then you can just kind of pile it all on wait for the mat until we're grabbing the setting spray yes setting spray is crucial and I haven't gotten any word that we're launching like any kind of different setting spray so I would not hesitate um I have an eyelash in my eye I feel it oh hold on okay we're good um 
you know, like when you feel the eyelash like leaving your eye, you're like, no, that was, that was me right now. Okay. Uh, just hopped on what color foundation I'm wearing the shade lace and then I'm wearing the shade organza in my concealer oh yeah it's St. Patrick's Day oh my gosh I totally forgot uh never caught you live hi Grace welcome so I always um like to tell you guys I'm sorry I'm so blown out what's happening I think it's my shirt okay we'll just keep going um I always tell you guys too, if you need any recommendations as far as makeup or anything like that, let me see if I can make the light adjust. Hold on. Um, just message me. All right. So now we're going to go in with our setting powder and my setting spray. There you are. Watch from Pakistan for the first time. Awesome. Hello. Thank you, Lorraine. You guys are so sweet. All right. I'm going to spritz my blending bud with my setting spray tap it on there, put it all over my blending bud, and this just really draws out the natural oil of my skin. Like I said before, we have like a huge laundry list of things to do today, so I'm trying to go a little bit faster than I normally do, so I apologize for any of my new time watchers. You're probably like, oh my god, she's going so fast, how can I learn anything? Um, but I have so many tutorials here on Facebook, and since we're all in quarantine, what better time to spend than watching tutorials and practicing our makeup techniques, right? Because after all, if you mess up, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> okay, sorry, jokes aside. Um, I have a ton of tutorials on here. So if you aren't a huge fan of full coverage, if you like more mom on the go, like really fast coverage, I have tutorials about that. Um, so lots of different ones on there. So make sure that you browse around. Um, and you can always message me also to let, ask me for a recommendation or if you have any questions or anything like that. Just do with the beauty blender, get it wet. So I spritzed it with my setting spray. I just took my setting spray and I spritzed it on top. Okay, so now my setting spray is all on there, or I'm sorry, setting powder is all on there. And you can see how it went on super white and then all of a sudden it looked, <clears throat> excuse me, it looked like it just like disappeared. That is because it absorbs into the foundation. It, it bakes into it. Um, so the warmth from your skin is, like I said, baking the product in there. So it just absorbs any of that natural oil that may be um, causing you to look oily or greasy or make your makeup run off altogether. <laughs> makeup is a priority. I know, right? It's good to keep some sort form of like normalcy. I, I feel like in times like this, cause it's when you start kind of going like crazy, like, I don't know what to do. So I'm just not going to do anything. Um, that's when it starts to feel a little overwhelming, I think. But so in the sake of normalcy, we're going to continue. So we are now using the pressed powder. Yes, this is a foundation. However, Unique's pressed powder foundations are so incredibly lightweight, soft on your skin, incredible, that you can pile them on, you can use as much as you want, and it won't dry you out. It won't make you look cakey or powdery. It's simply amazing. So I just use that on my under eye just for more of a brightening effect. And now I'm going to go in with my actual color, which is the shade Taffeta. And I'm going to go in with my big kabuki brush. And I'm just going to pop this on all over. And this is going to really even out my coverage so it matches my chest. And then also is going to mattify my makeup so it's not going to look shiny or oily in any areas. And anywhere that I may have highlighted or used concealer or whatever, it's going to really... Sorry, someone tried to call me. Um, it's going to really mattify everything. It's going to make everything like look super blended, really melted. So, very important. And this is my favorite way to apply the pressed powder. And like I said before, our pressed powders are so incredibly silky, soft, gentle on your skin. So, if you have dry skin or mature skin, you're like, oh my gosh, I could never use that much pressed powder. You can with this. I assure you, I promise you, this pressed powder is nothing like anything you've ever tried. It is so incredible. They nailed the formula of this, I swear. Yay, awesome. So excited. Okay. Yes, it's incredible for dry skin. Hello, Kristen. I just hopped on. Grab the settings for you. Yay, awesome, Jolie. Uh, glad to see you live or the lip scent. Cannot wait. Yes, Kristen, I'm so excited for you. 
um, one, the angled blending bud. Linda, everything that I've given or I've shown is available right here, rayahopebeauty.com. So you can find everything right there. Um, so make sure that you shop there for any of your makeup or your skincare needs during this crazy time because any of that, I get a small commission, which helps to put food on my table for my kids. So I really highly, highly appreciate it. And if you guys need any help or have any questions or need any recommendations, just send me a selfie facing a window or a recent selfie or a recent photo, I was trying to say, with no filter on it and I can color match you. All right, so now we're contouring. So I just popped it on super fast so you can see the difference. So contour versus no contour. See how this side really recedes, it sets in, it warms up my complexion, I don't look so washed out. It really defines my face. Click the little thumbs up if you see the difference there. So, and it's so easy. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my beachfront bronzer in the shade Hermosa. I'm taking my tapered blusher brush. I'm starting at the top of the ear and I'm working to the corner of the mouth. And I'm just going back and forth horizontally with this and then turning it vertically and then doing little swirls over that like this. And this is really just gonna warm up our complexion and like I say, define our face. So even if you're not a huge contour girl, if you're like, oh, I don't know if I wanna ever contour, it looks too hard or it looks scary or I don't wanna look that overdone, I totally get you, but contouring does more than like spruce up your makeup. It really does warm up your complexion. So if your makeup is starting to look like it's washing you out, <coughs> excuse me, or your skin just looks um, bland, <laughs> <laughs> like my phrases uh contouring really does make a big difference you can even pop it on underneath your jawline there and then I love a bold contour so I go over it a few times but like I said you can go as subtle as you want and I'm using the middle shade there is a lighter shade in the color sunset so if you wanted something a little bit lighter you could grab that color and now I'm just popping this on the sides of my nose to thin out my nose and then you can always contour underneath the bottom lip to create more of a shadow there so lots of tricks need a full coverage base I'm kind of lost with contouring Lisa um these two guys right here is like all you need for contour beachfront bronzer tapered blusher brush hi Teresa these are incredible I cannot stress enough how good they are and then um for a base message me Lisa a, a selfie or a photo of you and I can give you a recommendation all right, so now I'm gonna use my blush and I'm just gonna pop this on. And I love this brush. It applies it so easy. Just like glides on, accentuates your cheekbones. I love this line of blushes. There's matte and there's like these ones I'm using that's like almost a, like a sheen, but it's so gorgeous because it really acts almost as a highlight as well. So easy, easy trick to get your cheeks to really like glow. And also blush adds just a very like perfect flush color to your skin. All right, now I'm using my Touch on Mode Luminizer in the shade Lustrous and I'm gonna use the cream first and I like to use it on my finger. Um, because the warmth of my hand is going to melt the product into the makeup so it looks very soft on my skin. If you have mature skin or a lot of fine lines and wrinkles, you'll really like the cream to powder. It's not going to accentuate your fine lines with all the powder. So it goes on creamy, which I think is perfect. So that was the Touch the Mode Luminizer in the shade Lustrous. And then now I'm going to pop it on, make it a little more dramatic with the powder form. Same thing, lustrous in this guy. And I'm gonna pop this on the bridge and tip of my nose and right over that cream highlight. Area, the unique Kabuki brush I brought for shedding. Shedding is started after I washed it. I can return it since I got off. Yes, absolutely, Kelly. You can return it if you bought it from my website. Ordered the Kudos last week, got the other shadow palette. Yay, I'm so excited. Yes, if you haven't yet, the, um, the eyeshadow palettes. All the addiction palettes are actually retiring. So if you have yet to grab it, grab them. They are so good. I forget what I was doing. Um, they're so, so good and they're going away. So make sure you grab them before they do. They look like this. They're so good. And they come with all your colors. Maybe I'll actually use this one. Um, I hate being in a rush. My husband's like, you have 45 minutes. I'm like, ah! <laughs> All right, I'm going to take Addiction Palette. Actually, no, I'm not. I have to do my eyebrows. Oh, my goodness. I'm all over the place. 
Um, I love the bronzer, still using. Yay, awesome. Just in my makeup, nowhere to go, but looking good for her. Huh? There you go, Sarah. You could practice your selfies. I missed beginning, but I'll watch replay. Yes. Okay, awesome. I think I caught up. If I missed anyone, um, just let me know. I know the lighting keeps going in and out. I apologize. It's because I'm wearing this shirt. All right, I'm going to comb through my brows really fast because combing through my eyebrows before I do my brow pencil helps my brow pencil to go on very um, softly and very easily. And then I always comb through my eyelashes using the lash brow comb, the metal side, because it helps your mascara to go on. Sorry, my nose itched. <laughs> now pick up my nose. Um, helps your mascara to go on really flawlessly as well. All right, so for brows, I'm just gonna use my brow pencil in the shade medium. And then I'm going to follow my tear duct going straight up. And I just kind of etch a little line here, connect it all on top. And then same thing on the bottom, connect it all. And, it <clears throat> oh. and then I just color in, fling it through the tail. And then I'll just fine tune it a little bit. But I love these brow pencils. They're so good. They're only $19. They last me about four months. And I use them almost, <clears throat> I use it almost every day. I should have grabbed a water, I'm sorry. And then again, here on the front. And then I do use our Esteem Lash Serum every single night before bed. So I think that really helps as well, getting my brow hair to be a little bit thicker and a little bit more fuller. Um, so you can use our steam lash serum. It's only $24, you guys. It's such a good deal. You use it on your eyelashes and you can use it on your eyebrows every single night before bed. <laughs> Thank you. We are running around like crazy people today. Okay, so here on the bottom, we're just etching. Just like so. And then right to the arch, fling it through the tail. And then see how it just like really defines the brows. Gosh, come on, light. There we go. Oh, I gotta stay close. Gotta stay close. Okay, so that was a brow pencil in medium. So now we're ready for our eyes. I'm gonna take the Addiction Palette 6. I'm just gonna use this color Enthralled, which is this like um, just matte brown. I'm gonna grab it on there. And then I'm gonna dust this through the crease very softly using the fluffy crease brush. And I'm just, I'm gonna be using a, a splurge cream shadow today, but I just wanted, um, I wanted to blend it out before I use it. So that's a trick with a lot of eyeshadow choices, whether you're using the liquid or the cream shadows. Um, if you are going to, it's so easy to blend it out before you go in with it. So I always love to take a different product such as this. So Addiction Palette 6 we're using, and we're using the shade Enthralled, and we're just going to buff this out into the crease and the arch, just like this. And that way when we go in with the liquid or the splurge cream shadows, they go on flawlessly and they look already blended. So it's just, it makes for a super fast eye look is what we're doing today. So we're just popping this on like so. And then I always make sure it looks really soft like that okay so now that we've done that now I'm going to go in with my spurge cream shadow in the shade tenacious and I'm going to go in with what brush I'll just use this one we're going to use this one this one's by Charlotte Tilbury it's an eye blender apparently so I'm just going to tap it in to my spurge cream shadow grab it in there and then I'm just going to pop this on come on this is not the brush I wanted to use it'll do it'll do all right so just kind of like smushing it in there just like that and then it goes right on and these cream shadows are so so incredible you guys they apply so beautifully if you could like bottle up a cloud <laughs> this would be a cloud it is so like whippy and creamy and then it dries into a smudge-proof, crease-proof powder finish. And then I just kind of blend that out like that. And how fast is that, you guys? How fast and easy? Anyone can do this, I'm telling you. 
And these are so good. They come in a few different colors also. So this one is more of a, I don't want to call it a shimmer because it's not, but there is, it's not a matte basically. But there are matte colors as well. Just like that. How much are the cream shadows? I believe they're $26 by themselves, but I honestly have had these same ones for like a year and a half or two years. I forget what the expiration date. I always throw my makeup away at the expiration date because it could cause breakouts and it could dry out and it's just not good to use. Um, obviously, you don't have to do that if it's closed or if you've never opened it. It's The expiration date should say on the bottom um, from when it's opened. Okay, so that was Splurge Cream Shadow in the shade Tenacious. All right, so once we have that on, now I'm going to just take my crease brush and just blend this out. Real easy. Went a little heavier on this eye, so I'm just wiping it off on a paper towel. Just to lighten it up, because I don't want it to be like, whoa. But isn't this so pretty? Um, I don't like the cream better than the liquid. I honestly, it's a tie. It really is a tie because they both are extremely easy to use. They both are uh, crease proof and smudge proof and they're both very fast. It just kind of depends what eye look I was going for. Um, but to answer your question, no, I don't like, I don't know. That's a hard question. Well, then I just dropped my cap. You can't go wrong with either choice, though. It just depends if you like liquid or if you like cream. The expiration date is going to be on here. Somewhere. I don't know. It'll be on the bottom. Like, it usually will come in a little canister. That one says 18 months. You can take it with a grain of salt. I mean... 18 months. I don't know. I might have it a little longer than that. <laughs> I should wash my makeup brushes about once a week. That's always the best. All right, just going in with a little bit of that. All right, so now I'm going to take the liner shader brush and I'm going to grab this color, which is the shade Audacious. It's just this matte chocolate brown. But before I do that, I'm going to go in with my eyeliner in the shade Perfect. And this is actually on sale in the Kudos this month. And I'm going to pop that on my water lines. And I love, you guys, I love, love, love this eyeliner. It's so creamy. It glides on and it stays put. It doesn't, like, smudge or tear up or run. It's so good. You can get it on sale on the Kudos. So what the Kudos is this month is you get to pick any eyeshadow palette. You get to pick any eyeliner. And then you get to pick any mascara. So it's essentially an entire eye look. So if I were you and I was building up my makeup kit, I would grab the, it's called the Ready Set Prep Collection. It's under Sets and Collections on the website and it comes with foundation, concealer, um, foundation, concealer, primer, setting, spray or setting powder, blush, and a bag. So much, so much. And it's under $200, which is insane. It's already 15% off marked on the website so I would get that collection and the kudos and you would literally have an entire look I think the only thing I would add would be the pressed powder um no I don't let my brushes sit in it I just use the zote bar like a laundry detergent bar um is what it is but I just take it as like a washboard and I like wash it and then I squeeze them and I wring them out and then I let them air dry Any advice for under eye bags? Um, skincare, for sure. Skincare is a really, really big deal when it comes to under eye bags. So rose water and the Uology Serum are really amazing um, because there are boosters in it, like the um, firming booster, the glow. There's even a puffiness reducing booster in the night cream and in the day cream. So I would highly recommend to up your skincare. And then for makeup application, I would recommend to do, um, make sure you're using the blending buds and the rose water before you do your makeup. And then when you are doing your makeup, make sure that you are setting and priming your skin really well. So setting spray, primer, setting spray, and then apply with the blending buds. 
All right, so I'm just taking my blending brush and just softening this outside look a little bit because we don't want it to be like super crazy. All right, so now what I always do is I like to take an empty brush and then I'll just like sweep away any eyeshadow that may have fallen. And then I like to take my blending bud and then I just very quickly dab this underneath my eye and this will just pick up any eyeshadow that may have fallen and also kind of sharpen up this outside corner a little bit, soften it up. Okay, so once we've done that, now we can do mascara. All right, we're gonna do the lash primer first. And I'm going to go from the base of the lash all the way up, just like so. And this is going to really give us incredible length and volume. Also hydrates your lashes. So if you struggle with having your lashes really short or really stubby or really straight, the lash primer literally fixes all of those issues. Makes your lashes longer, fuller helps them curl and it hydrates them, which helps them to grow. So it's amazing. So with that, in combination of the Esteem Lash Serum, you're gonna have the most amazing lashes ever. And then now I'm gonna use the 4D Mascara, and this, like I said, comes in the kudos. And this is the best mascara. It gives you the most incredible length and volume, has fibers and gel infused in it. So the longer bristles on this brush have the gel, the shorter ones have the fibers, so it's literally like coating each lash with both. So you get incredible length. The liquid lipstick soft hearted is out of stock. Soft hearted was actually um, like a limited edition shade that they found in the warehouse and they put on the website. Soft hearted, soft hearted actually never even like had a launch. It just like appeared one day and disappeared one day. <laughs> So I don't, I honestly, I don't think that one will be restocking. Um, but if you want a similar liquid lipstick color to Soft Hearted, the shade uh, Sublime would be the closest. 4D is seriously goals. It's so incredible. So if your mascara is drying out really fast, I would highly recommend to make sure you're sealing it up really well. And then also comb through your eyelashes before um, you go in with your mascara uh, so mascara can dry out if you have a lot of eyeshadow like on your eyelashes because it's then transferring onto the wand which is going into the tube. So all together, no bueno. So make sure that you comb through your eyelashes. I've honestly, I've had this same mascara for like six months <laughs> and it's not dry at all. Now, if you've had your mascara for longer than five to six months and it's dry, it could be because it's gone. It's not dry, it's just gone. Um, but a little trick to revitalize makeup is rose water. Try spritzing your rose water on it or in it. Good little trick. All right, I'm gonna go in with another coat. Just get my lashes. I still feel that wonky eyelash messing with me. Where you at, girl? Go away. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Mm, such good length. I shall have a primer, 4D lash set. My lashes have looked amazing. Oh, I'm so glad. Yes, if you haven't used the lash primer yet or the lash serum, you need to. Absolutely. Um, oh, setting spray. Thank you, ladies. Uh, you face it uh, all, yeah, yes, 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 you could try that too. All right, so now I'm going to go with one coat of the Waterproof Epic Mascara. This is like my lovely little trick for making your lashes look even better and also waterproof. Sorry about the light. I see it. I see it. All right, so waterproof. And then now we're going to do the fastest lip look you've ever seen me do. We're going to just take the lip gloss in the shade Lovable. And we're just going to pop this on. Just like that. Just for a super pretty, soft, glowy lip look. Ta-da! <laughs> But honestly, I love our lip glosses. I love that they're only $15. They come with a little touch-up mirror on them. And they're super pigmented. So how pretty is that very baby, like, soft pink? I love it. It's one of my faves. So that, again, was lovable, was the shade. 
and everything I just use is available right here, rayahopebeauty.com. Um, what color did you use in your eyebrows? I use the shade medium in the brow pencil. And if you guys need any recommendations, if you're not sure what to grab or you're not sure what colors to get, just send me a message and I can color match you, message you uh, back right away. So let me know today if you guys need any help. Make sure you're shopping right here, rayahopebeauty.com. Let me guys know if you need anything. And um, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My name on there is Raya Hope. I'll be linking my cute little thermal and some other really fun things today. Um, I also got something in the mail that I'm going to show you guys over on Instagram, I think. Or maybe I'll try to record a video. I don't know yet, but make sure you stick around here on Facebook. Turn on those live notifications up in your right-hand corner. You can click the three little dots to turn on live notifications. And then down in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll be able to click that share button. So if you guys need any help or have questions or whatever, just message me. Um, otherwise, make sure you shop right here, rayahopebeauty.com. Our products are manufactured in the USA. That's why we're not really worried about like an outage or anything. So, yes, USA, we are cruelty-free, we have a love-it guarantee, so if you don't love anything for any reason, you can return it for your money back. Um, yeah, pretty amazing. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Bye.